Buenos días. Good morning. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buen oh día. my God. Buen día. Okay. Um, hello. It is Friday morning here in sunny yes. California. Oh, Finally, it stopped raining and it's sunny today. Um, uh, I don't do this for anyone, but I, um, I'm letting Vetti here sit on this side. I'm usually the one sitting over there. I didn't realize I had a side until I started doing it and I was like, oh. But you know what? You are so incredible that I'm like, you know what? If that's what's gonna make you comfortable, I'll do it. So this is like gonna be new for me, but I, maybe I'll be like inspired yes. by being on this side, changing things up, you yes. know? And it's not <laughs> my comfort. It's oh. to bring something new oh. for you. Oh. She does Find that. Something she, new. she does that. She has that way with me. Okay, so everyone, I, I not just you, oh, everybody. Oh, everybody. everybody. That's true. Sorry, I just feel it because I yeah. Could, we'll know. make you special. <laughs> yeah, you. Yes, you. <laughs> it's the Leo in me. Um, okay, so I know, right? Um, everybody, can you just share with everybody who you are? I like to ask that very existential question because okay. who are you, Betty? I am me. I am very heart. Uh, I'm an intuitive healer, um, medicine curandera. Mm. Um, I've been a healer for such a long time that it's just in my nature, but I am me. You know, it's it's funny when we met, uh, I had mentioned, uh, I was like, oh, look, meet Vedi. She's a massage therapist. Yes. And you were like, hold up. <laughs> You're like, no, I'm an intuitive healer and I was like oh okay and it's uh you've come into my life at a very wonderful time I think a very yeah. kismic time because I feel very open to your wisdom to your words to your energy yeah. to your intuition um I it really has spoken to me through every time we've had a cafecito offline yes um and so it's a it's a it's an honor to have you here uh, because we're gonna talk about something okay. I because I'm we're gonna talk about something that I don't really know too much about and that yeah. I'm trying to work on. Okay. Okay. So I think that you're gonna be such a great um, expert in this field to help walk us through this. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's an honor. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. So y'all, we're gonna and I'll do my best to yes. see if I can yeah. see what I can be able to share. Mm -hmm. And normally when I share things like this, it's, um, it comes from a place of connection mm -hmm. from source. So it's always intuitively guided on what to share. So it doesn't come from ego. It comes from a place of spirit. Y'all, are y'all ready for this? Okay, we're going to ask Vidi to just scoot in a little bit because ah. we don't want her off the screen. And I'm going to move Can a little bit. Can I sit on your lap? <laughs> At this rate, shoot. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, one day we're going to have a set and it's like, this is going to be... It's just get gonna... yourself a couch. Yes, you doesn't want it. Move it. Get yourself a little love seat. Like a little one. Yeah, you get... Ahí pasamos así. Sí, ¿verdad? Stop it. I mean, you've seen Drew Barrymore where she's like all up on her guests. I don't know if you've seen that. No, I haven't. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, yeah we're not doing that. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Don't worry. I am the guest. Please don't do that with me. We won't be doing that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, uh, am I all red now? Yeah, probably. Okay. Anyways. Wait, where's the fan? Dude, I literally am sweating so much. I Is it because the windows are closed? Probably. Yes, that is. Maybe our producer might open a window maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm like patching myself. Okay, so anyways, this long-winded <laughs> introduction is basically, oh, look yes, what we have that's here. What I was Thank you. About. Sorry, I can I can do it myself. It's okay. okay. Yeah, don't worry. I'm like I'm not gonna put you through that. Yeah, the the mic is gonna is gonna hear that just for a second. Okay. Woo. Okay, y'all. We're gonna be talking about intuition, which is the opposite of like conscious decisions, intentionality. Do you want to share with everyone for you like what that means and why it relates to the work you do because you call yourself an intuitive healer. So mm -hmm. what, is the what does it mean for you and like what is the connection with the work that you do? So we'll start with um, why I call myself an intuitive healer. Okay. So when I do my work, um, I am being guided to work not just on the physical side of things, but also the spiritual and emotional side of things. And those are things that sometimes we ourselves can, we don't know that we have these blockages and these things inside of us. But our body is telling us by every single hurt, pain and aches, everything, inflammation, 
skin rashes, mm. any anything like that. Our body's telling us like, hey, pay attention to <sighs> me. And we those tummy it, aches, right? Those tummy, those tummy aches. aches that are like, mm. cuando comes lo que no debes de estar comiendo. <laughs> o demás. O demás, you know, like Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's like, a, that's like a blackout day, though, right? Yes, it doesn't matter. The, it doesn't matter. That's another topic. That's yeah, another topic. topic. Um, yeah, so I'm like, let me go back to where yeah. I was at. So intuition. What, what is an intuition? Intuition is something that our body, if we're very in tune with it, if we listen to it, like, let's say... Some, you, you have a route or something in particular or a certain way you go to work every day. But this one time, something's like pushing you to go a different direction. But you don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. That's your intuition. Mm -hmm. and, sometimes, and sometimes we question and we're like, ah, no, but I normally go left instead of right on this street. And you decide not to listen to that intuition and you go the same route you normally do. And now there's an accident mm -hmm. there. Either you were being guided to be a, like avoid that accident, or you personally, right? So you wouldn't be in that accident, or you're being guided so you can go, get to work on time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's our intuition. Yeah. And so the way I work with it is when I go in and work on you physically. I might spend a little bit more time here. I might spend a little, uh, like on your leg or your arm and something might pop up. For me, sometimes it's a smell or an image or um, one word. Sometimes it's one word mm -hmm. and I have to share that one word, mm -hmm. even though deep down inside, I'm like, she's gonna think I'm crazy. She's gonna be like, what does that mean? I'd be like, I don't know. That's all they're giving me is una palabra. Wow. <laughs> and so I have to share that with you. And sometimes that one word will definitely mean something for you. And you'll be like, oh my God, yes, roses. My grandma loved roses. I'm like, okay, well, your grandma's here with you. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes <laughs> it's them wanting to let you know a message yeah. or something that comes. Or just letting them, they want you to know that they're here with mm -hmm. you at all times. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. I um I had the uh, uh, fortune to have a, a appointment with you, mm -hmm, and session. it was a session, and it was, I mean I've gotten massages before, but it was, um, so emotional. Mm -hmm. I think that's the right word to describe the experience. Was like it was uh, emotional and liberating, and um, and so I wanted to ask you something. Yeah, I've been kind of. It's something that Anna always tells me, but I'm like in the process of acknowledging it, believing it in myself recently, is that like my emotions and, 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 and I, I think it, when you talk about intuition, I feel like there's something there because a lot of the times like when it's emotions that are not necessarily positive, right? Mm -hmm. Like if I'm scared or I'm nervous, I, I tend to just like just freeze, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. so recently I've been working through some stuff where I'm like, wait, like, I just have to just honor just how I honor when I'm happy and joyful. Yes. I really have to be like, hey, and I'm, I'm going to ruin what I'm saying. But basically what I'm getting at is like, I'm finally believing that like, damn, like emotions are, there's this long range of them, but it's like, I've been trying to tell myself like, well, business as usual, like I still, it shouldn't necessarily be the reason why I freeze or I, mm -hmm. I don't know I just like feel like my intuition I feel like I'm leaning into like getting to like you said hear my body and hear yes. my myself and be like hey like I don't know I don't even know if I'm I'm still yeah. like working through I'm still, it's very fresh DMing this is all very fresh yes. for me so it all makes sense to me um the way I tell people with their emotions is you have you have to honor them no matter we we as humanity have put our emotions as good and bad, right? Happy, sad, or angry, and um, excitement, right? Good and bad. But we love to honor the good, and we like to push down the bad. Ooh, now say that over there. We like to push it down the bad, and no bueno. We don't like to do that. Oof. Why? Oof. Because one day, all those bad feelings that you're getting, you're suppressing further and further, you're piling up, up, 
pile and pile and pile, pushing them down. And then one day, that one day, I'm getting escalated. Yeah, it's, it's real. You will erupt. Mm -hmm. And that's where we get into depression. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many bad emotions, bad, right, that we never acknowledge them. Emotions want to be acknowledged. Emotions want, want to, to be get and acknowledged. So, Oof. as I always tell people, I love it. We're getting. I love this. Keep, keep happy, going. If you're laughing, yeah. If you're all those good emotions, right? Mm -hmm. You're excited. Do you ever tell yourself, "Calmate"? <laughs> Right, right, right. We're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You laugh too much. Oh, right? oh, dang. Okay. Como te dicen, oh, sí, llora. <laughs> llora, llora lo que, llora cinco minutos. Pero ya de allí ya no llores. Ok, ríete por cinco minutos. Yeah. Pero ya no te ríes. Oh, my God. No. No. Tienes que hacer los dos. You have los to dos. do both you of them. You have to do both of yeah. them. You have to be, as much as you're happy, be sad. As much as you're excited, be frustrated. And honor those feelings. Mm -hmm. Because they want to be acknowledged. Yes, there's a moment in time, but... But they're just moments They're in just time. moments in time. Yeah. And e either if you don't want to do it in public, excuse yourself. Mm -hmm. Or acknowledge that moment in time where we take the bad feeling yeah. or that bad emotion yeah. and be like, okay, sadness, I see that some, this has been brought up to my attention. When we get home, we can sit down. And we will, we will dive deeper into that emotion, mm -hmm. into you, into mm -hmm. you sadness. Mm -hmm. So for now, let's go back to whatever it is that you were doing. Right. Simple as that. Okay, so let's... let's we say simple, but... I was going to say, noise. we got to keep going. We got to keep going here because this is... I, I do believe that in my experience, like that is what clouds my intuition, mm -hmm. to be honest, is I have come to the terms of like, I, dis, I get disoriented right with these bad emotions that come in okay. and I'm like whoa like what's going on and mm -hmm. so instead of like following my intuition and being like okay like like you said there's some sadness we'll yeah. we'll, um, we'll unpack this we'll sort this out um but I think a lot of us and I'll space that for myself is that you know there's a lot of uh fear in yes. in, in in acknowledging the negative things there's mm -hmm. a fear because maybe you're not you're not ready you're not ready mm -hmm. um and your intuition, right, in theory, if you're that, that, if you really can listen to your body and to your, I don't know if it's energy. Yeah. Like, how do you, yeah, how do you kind of work towards that? Because that's. So here's the thing. With yeah. the emotions, going back to the good and the bad. Yeah. The good emotion, we don't give it too much power. We just, we're in that moment. And when it comes to the negative ones, we, like you said, we put fear into them. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are you putting fear into that emotion? Mm -hmm. What is it that you're so scared of? Mm -hmm. Right? And when your intuition is saying, hey, I want you to feel this emotion, what is it in that moment in time that it's wanting you to feel? What are you, what is it, what is it needing to be like worked on? You can, like I said, put it away, be like, hey, I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Later tonight, we'll dive in deeper. But how do you get there? You, when you come home, <laughs> remembering, and that's the thing is, it's a practice of like gratitude, mm -hmm. right? So uh, maybe a lot of people have, a, I don't know, I have a practice of mm -hmm. gratitude in the morning and in the evening. So gra practice of gratitude in the morning saying like, gracias Dios for another day of breath another day that I get to open my eyes, another day that I get to experience this beautiful world. In the evening, you have to have a practice of being showing gratitude um, for what you were able to do throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And so when you go back, you can start like, okay, a las ocho hice esto, muchas mm -hmm. gracias. A las nueve, I, I did this. Oh, a las diez, I remember mm -hmm. 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I had this one feeling. Mm -hmm. This feeling of emotion, okay. right? Okay. The negative one. Okay. The negative one. The negative one. So you stop there. Mm. And you will dive in and be like, okay, why was I feeling this emotion? Mm. What can I do? Or what are you trying to teach me? And you talk to that emotion. Like, yeah. it's an actual thing. 
Yeah, like if you need, because the thing is, like we don't go in and we don't say, "Hey, happy, what were you trying to teach?" Well, today? I was, I was just gonna say. I mean, I feel like I love how you're really are comparing it with the like we call it the, the good, good emotion good or yeah. positive emotions. It's true. It's like, yeah, we don't go around being like, so why are you happy today? But honestly, even that is probably healthy to understand yes. why you are feeling the positive, the negative, mm -hmm. because it just leads you back to like the human experience of like yes. this one. So I want to kind of touch really quickly about the, what are we so afraid of with the negative, right? Like mm -hmm. the, 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 I feel like when there's like conflict, right? Or there's like, you know, there's, mm -hmm. you know, you're, ha you're having these great feelings and then something comes along and it's like, and sometimes it's not even negative. It's just like, that is a human experience. You're going to have, there's going to be like problem solving and all yeah. that stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, for you, how have you, is it something that you've practiced over time? Like what is something that like helps your train of thought and does your intuition play a role in that? So, at the beginning, and these are things that I've intuitively just come to... The word again, intuitively, intuitively. okay. I've come to understand. Mm -hmm. um, and with a little bit of help from other sources, I were, was able to dissect things a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, after a certain year, all, everything came crumbling down in my world everything and I said I pretty much was in a pit okay it was like what people call depression yeah. been there depressed. been there yeah yeah depression mm -hmm. alcohol mm -hmm. you you name it mm -hmm. I was in a pit and one day when I was sober I was like okay how much deeper is this hole mm -hmm. am I done digging a hole mm -hmm. or am I ready to climb out mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's the thing is once you're ready to climb out, you're going to acknowledge every dang step Ooh, of the way. What got you there? What got me there? Oh, shoot. Wow. And so it's one, having patience Oof. with yourself. <laughs> Paciencia. Oh, wow. And being mm. gracious with yourself. Mm. Not beat yourself up. Get, ay, como pudiste, como pudiste hacer eso? Mm. No. It's more of like, I love you. Mm -hmm. It's uh, one of the practices that I practiced a lot was the Hono Onopono. Mm -hmm. it, uh, I don't know if you've heard of that one. No. Okay. Let's, it's share, the, with, let's share with the folks out there. It's the, I'm sorry. It's four, four sayings. Okay. So I, I'm sorry. Thank you. I love you. Please forgive me. Mm. So with every occasion, and you can practice this with yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. and it's such a powerful, oh, I can already, powerful, I can already sense that it you will. You say it multiple Ooh. times, as wow. many times. So then here's again, the intuition. You sit down and you say, okay, I'm gonna say this hono onopono. It's, you can say it's a poem, it's a little saying or a mantra, mm -hmm. right? And say, okay, I'm gonna say this. How many times do I need to say it today? What number comes up? Mm -hmm. Probably that. How many? What, I thought two. Two okay. came up to me. Okay, so say that. So you will say the, you, so you're going to practice that twice. Twice in the two, day. Meaning two times. Two so times, okay. I love you. And the fun thing is that you don't have to say it in that order. Oh. You can do it however order it comes, comes to you. To you. Oh. But you have to say all four before you begin the other one. Okay, let's see if I remember them. I love you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Please forgive me. Mm -hmm. I love you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Please forgive me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Or I forgive you. Oh, I forgive you. Mm -hmm. So I forgive myself. Like, I forgive yeah. you. So if you've seen it in the mirror. Oh, I forgive you. Yeah. I would say, I, I forgive you. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Oof. Any way mm -hmm. you say it is going to mm -hmm. be so powerful. Mm -hmm. And next time, on the next day, today, maybe you were ready for two. Tomorrow, or maybe later. Yeah. Be ready for more. Oof. Say it 20 times. Wow. Write it down. Mm -hmm. Say it out loud. Say it to yourself. Mm. You can practice it if you want to say it to somebody, but don't want to say it in their face. Yeah. Grab their picture. Wow. Right in, their, in your head, have that image. I love that. That image oh. of them and say it to them. Oh. Almost having like this yeah. kind of thing. You're yeah. seeing them and you're in front of them yeah. and saying these words to them. Yeah. Right? Oof. And even if it's yourself. Even this. if it's yourself. 
Um, um, well, especially myself. Yeah, I yes. definitely will be doing it. If you don't myself. want to do it in front of the mirror because it's so hard and it is, and it, yeah. it's a tearjerker yeah. for some. Yeah. You, you, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but like every time I'm with you, I'm like, you have such, I can feel you have such peace and grace Aww. and gratitude. And so this was all making a lot of sense to me. Like I was like, yeah, because it's like you're putting in this work in, in mm -hmm. yourself and I could tell you really love yourself, yes. which I think is that. Yes. Oh no, <laughs> wait. Too much energy. Too much energy. Yeah, yeah. Like electrifying. <laughs> um, no, I was going to say like you, yeah, you have, yeah, you have this, this grace to yourself. And I know it's like, you've done a lot of work. Yes. And this was during COVID. Oh. To be quite oh. So not that long ago not either. Long, not long ago. Um, I was still trying. I've been on this path for such a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been in a massage therapist since I was nine. I started at the age of nine. Wow. I uh, graduated massage school in 06. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. And I still practice this practice it till this day but now i've made it my own i have my own signature moves and techniques yeah and so much has yeah. transpired so massage therapy is such a basic word yeah yeah no i like the intuitive healer yes yes uh, we we were going to originally talk about energy um but i thought you know intu intuition is such a I mean, energy has has. That's another coffee date. That's another whole thing. Um, <laughs> but I feel like there is some correlation, you know. Sí. Like I feel like Man, mano a mano. Mano a mano, right? Because I feel mm -hmm. like um, the energy that you that you're putting out yes. to people, like or people, the energy you're receiving, or the energy you're receiving, it can mm -hmm. change that. Um, mm -hmm. And the reason why I feel like it might connect with intuition is like. And it's funny because it all goes back to this idea of like trusting yourself, right? Because yes, intuition is intuition. about trusting your intuition and what you're mm -hmm. feeling. What helps you trust yourself? What helps you to listen to your intuition? What what nurtures it's that? It's been trial and error. Okay. To be very, very okay. honest. Trial no, we like error. that. Yes. It's, 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 this is all a process and a journey. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, you can become an expert without having trips and falls. Yeah. Um, and even now... I can't even say that I'm an expert on it because sometimes I will question it. Oh, okay. Let's I hear that. I still question myself this morning. No way. <laughs> Keep us up. What were you thinking? So this morning you had texted me. Yeah. And uh, gotcha. I know you had sent me an invite. Yeah. For this coffee yeah. day. Yeah. And I was like, okay, of course, with the hustle and bustle of the day, I had to drop the kiddos off at school today. I was like, okay, I'll look for it later when I have some time. Okay. I was like, okay, where I'm gonna go to the email. My okay. body was like, look at the calendar. Look at the calendar. <laughs> like, no, gotta look for the email. Look for the email. Nada. Couldn't um, find nothing. It's in there. I'm like, I mean, I like she's putting it on the spot. I literally was like, <laughs> I, I checked myself it. on the spot. Yeah. No, I checked <laughs> it. Well, okay, no, go on. Okay. okay, go on. I'm getting into my car okay. and I'm looking at my phone and pop goes a notification. What is it? Um, my calendar. <gasps> oh, a cafecito con Jackie. <laughs> I click on it and it says invite. Yes, no, maybe. I'm like, oh. <laughs> no, but I knew you were going to. I mean, I know. I know. I, well, I was yeah. still going to come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, like, of course, of course, calendar, of course, of course. But not on the right calendar. Okay. And I have a couple of calendars that I, I, I try to mix together, but. Okay. The Google calendar is okay. the one where you can send invites to. Yes. So you were not, was it that your intuition, you weren't like trusting? It wasn't that I was interesting it. I was, of course, it was me, ego, doing my own thing, um, being like, no, pero lo tengo en el email. I'll just look at the email because that's not uh -huh. how I get it. Uh -huh. And so now I'm like, oh, see, sí, it's not in the calendar. <laughs> okay, next time. <laughs> Don't waste time. Go drive you there. And they're like, told you. <laughs> but you know what? Like, <laughs> that's, it's, okay. it's so passa. It's so passa. Yes. Like, but that's where the things, it's like, okay, you take that and you're like, okay, next time. Remember that one time when I told you to look in the calendar and uh -huh. notice this? This is the same thing. Oh, yes. Listen, Listen. to yourself. Listen, Listen to that little voice in the deep inside of your head that's telling you yeah. go left, go right, not left. Right. It reminds me of how, you know, we, it's also important to listen to other people and, you know, sometimes 
just listen. Mm -hmm. It's like the same practice with yourself, you know? Yes. Like, I know for, my intuition kicked another day too when I was like, there was some personal stuff, stuff happening and I was quick to be like, okay, well, I, I'm not going to be able to deal with some stuff. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to just move some stuff. And yes. I, and I was like, and I said, held up. I said, hang on, Jackie. Mm -hmm. It's like, espérate. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to make decisions based on my reaction or my worries. Like, mm -hmm. let's take a minute. And I did. And I, and I was fine. Yeah. And that's something that I, old younger Jackie probably would have not done You're like, -uh. but yeah I do think that there's a part of me that's like wait like you said like I've been here before like like yeah. let's and it goes it's like that relationship that you have with yourself it's like mm -hmm. bro like we're in this together literally I'm See? literally here with Jackie Jackie is here with Jackie mm -hmm. like how can I if you don't listen to yourself yeah how is anybody else gonna listen yeah. to you but there's a, and this sounds really messed up, right? But there is like a, even as I'm saying it, like, I felt like most of my life, there was like a fear of being there for myself. I don't know how to explain it. Well, because we, we've been in like a Hispanic, especially in a Hispanic community, or yeah. I feel like it's in many communities, yeah. where we feel we've been taught that it's better to... <laughs> take care of you mm -hmm. versus me taking care of myself. Mm -hmm. We always got to take care of other people because if we take care of ourselves, we're being selfish. Yes. And it's not true. It's not true. Y'all. No, it's better. No, it's better. Yeah. I mean, there's, and then there's, you know, the whole hyper romanticizing, like having a partner and, Mm -hmm. And it's that is dangerous too when you're growing up and thinking that someone has to fill in the spot when you're uh, like making wait, you happy, yeah, happy yeah. and valid and all this mm -hmm. stuff. And you know, I'm only now in my in my thirties, finally acknowledge, acknowledging like like the love that I have for myself or the willing to fight for myself, mm -hmm. not for necessarily for other people, but for yeah. myself. And it's a weird feeling. I'm not going to be honest with you. It's a new it weird feeling mm -hmm. that I'm experiencing and and there's a part of me that just wants to drop it be like okay like I had it for a second like it's so I know that I'm at the start of like okay no let's pick it back up and it's yeah. like it's okay like don't drop it like yeah. you can hold on to it Jackie mm -hmm. so that's where I'm at right Nurture now it. you be it's your baby yeah yeah be gentle with yeah it. but that's um practice right yes. yeah 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 and I hope that in doing that my intuition I can like think more because it's gonna probably help me right make better decisions for myself and all intuitively yes yeah. so it's acknowledging yourself and your thoughts and your feelings your emotions it's it's all of it mm -hmm. what is it saying mm -hmm. it's like um when you are wanting to do something or you committed to doing something but your body's telling you no Excuse stay me. home mm -hmm. rest you it's a, it, the body's not telling you that just because it wants to be lazy. It's because we, as humans, we run a lot. Oh my a God, lot. this is so important. And I'm not like lot. literally like, I'm just corriendo. Well, some of us do, not me, but yeah. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's such a waste. But yeah, you're right. And it's like, why How are we... How often do we rest? Yeah. And people are like, oh, pues yeah. mucho horas. I love That's this. That's a whole other thing. Oh, I was going to say, no, this is important. Yes. So she tells me, remember with that comment you made? I don't know if you remember this. But but what, which one? I about the, she's like, so like right now we are busy bees, you know, building a business and all this stuff. And we got married and there's just a lot going on. And I remember you, you told me, you're like, well, you know, when you go to, when you, when you sleep, you rest, but when do you, or you recharge rather. Mm -hmm. So when is it that you actually have time for like, just you, Jackie Garcia, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was just like, uh, <laughs> great question. Like, uh, yeah. I was like, uh, right. And that, that, I think I penciled that in like six months later, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it has stuck with me. And, 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 and although I'm not, you know, exactly where I want to be with that, I am very conscious of it. And like, it has helped me to make better decisions mm -hmm. or like you know say no to things and yeah you know and understanding just knowing that like this is something that i need to work nurture mm -hmm. you know because you're right like n when do we have time to actually like like i literally am like just even like the other day i i just lay down here on the couch for like maybe half an hour and i just like listen to music like i was yeah. like i just want to listen it was like an old album that yeah. she introduced me to when we first started dating and i was like I put the song on. I was like, and I was just like, when do I get to just like lay here and freaking listen. lay here and listen to this music and just yeah. enjoy music? Like we don't get to do that a lot. No, and I was like, and it was, and I felt guilty too, of course. After naturally afterwards, yeah, I was like, oh shit, course. I gotta do that, you know. And I was like, but then I'm like, wait, no, like 
I want more of these moments, mm -hmm. you know. You gotta My intuition it, was so. telling me that, you know. Yes. Right? Yeah. And it's in that, and it's not that we have to title it my, our intuition, mm -hmm. right? In society, we've come to title everything, mm -hmm. everything. Instead of saying, like you said, laying on the couch, listening to music, some people will title that laziness. Right. Why do we got to title things? Yeah. Why? There's no need for it. Just it is what it is. It's I was living life. On the couch. No? Living life, right? It, it's well, that's life. Yes. Yeah. Doing what you gotta do. Walking. <laughs> a movement, <laughs> laying on the couch, listening to music, that's what it is. Yeah. It's not, oh, that's called laziness. No. Yeah, yes, you might have other things you might have to do, but there's time for that. Yeah, what's wrong with being lazy uh, at some points in your life, right? I mean, if we want to call lazy, lazy, it's like, yeah. or like resting or like yeah, whatever. not being productive because... What's wrong with it? Yeah. Well, we, well the thing is, who are you competing with? <sighs> Well, I've recently learned the only person you really need to compete with is yourself. But even that can be challenging, to be honest. Why even compete? What are you competing for? Oh. That's the one thing I tell, tell my kids. Because they're oh. always racing. Mom, we, they're, as soon as they get out of the car, they want to run to the door. They're like, I win. I win. No, I win. I, I'm like, oh. what are you guys fighting for? Whoa. What are you guys fighting for? Get closer, by the way. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're back up. You're like, what is this? <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. yeah, even I, and that's great that you're acknowledging that in your children, like, because that's, then I tell them, that's how all what are you guys running right for? Yeah, I like that question. What are, oh, you shoot. Win something? Oh, my gosh, what are you going to win? Otherwise, I want to start racing with you guys. <laughs> You're like, what are we going to win here? What's going like, on? I win. I win. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. What do they tell you? What do they tell you when you say Nothing. that? Nothing. Nothing. I'm like, so why are we racing? Oh. Why does it have to be a competition? Oh, dang, yeah. We're just coming to the house. Are you guys that eager to go do homework? You're, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I doubt that. I doubt it's that. <laughs> no, but you're not. right. <laughs> you're like negative. No, but no, it's like, that's so true. It's like, what is this rush? Like, what is this pressure? Of rushing to do of things. Of rushing to do things. And like, having to running, always be doing stuff and all this stuff. Running like, against the clock. Well, I mean, obviously, the natural argument there is that capitalism is... Of course, capitalism. Well, it's yeah. in, in but I don't want to go down that rabbit hole because we're not going, we're not going to give it any attention. But, but I think... Um, I was recently at a wonderful retreat, by the way, which uh, I've been mentioning here and there, but you'll hear more about it later on this year, hopefully. But one of the things that we discussed on the wood, on the wood. On the wood that we discussed was like really, um, really acknowledging val our self values that mm -hmm. we have cultivated, that we believe in, not the society or the has system given has us. given us. Yes. And that was quite an exercise. Mm -hmm. But in doing that, it's really helped, even Anna did it, and it's helped us to kind of make certain decisions and yes. lead in a more authentic like, light, like lifestyle. And mm -hmm. I think that is really cool. Um, I never thought about it, to be honest. Like, no, we, and we don't. No, we don't think about that. We don't think about that because we're never really taught those things yeah. in school. It's always brought up by other people other mm -hmm. cultures mm -hmm. and that's the best thing I, that i love about it is that we get to learn different things yeah. in different type times in our life there is no rush we learn things when we need to learn things mm -hmm. and we let go of things when we need to let go of things mm -hmm. not attach ourselves to it like mm -hmm. no Samuel, this is mine no just no. let it be yeah, like, this is not my space. And don't this worry, and, like, don't even worry. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> sorry. Everybody's sad. true. No, go on. Sorry. I didn't mean that. Sorry, okay. I was trying to be funny. You were going to... trying. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, what happened to your mic? It's all the way down here. I don't know oh, why. No. Was it there the whole time? My scarf's been moving. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fine. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much noise happening, okay. so you'll be fine. Um, I totally no, interrupted wonder. your deep... You were going to say something deep about... There you go. Um, oh, that you don't have to hold yourself to. I mean, yeah, everything's so. I mean, everything's temporary, isn't it? Yes, it is very temporary. <laughs> Literally, we come in with nothing and we leave with nothing, mm -hmm. and yet we attach ourselves to so many things. Mm -hmm. But what I was saying is that we we sometimes we're worried about not accomplishing enough or not doing enough. We're doing just right. We're doing what we need to do at that moment in time. Mm -hmm. And when it's when you're ready, energetically ready, then you'll be guided to do something completely different. We're always like, oh, what's the best, next best thing? What can we do next? What about this? Oh, I have to hit that before I'm 40. Or I have to do that before I'm 50. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay if you do it at the age of 55. Mm -hmm. Or at mm -hmm. whatever age. Mm -hmm. There's no race. Mm 
Mm -hmm. How do you get there where you, f you believe that? Because I'm, I'm not saying that I don't believe that, but I think I always try to advocate like, like yes, people who are watching goals. this who are like, I don't know how to f get to that space. So we always have goals. Yeah. But we have to be flexible with these goals. Being like, I'm like, sometimes we have to be like, okay, I'm working towards, vamos a decir que una dona. Okay. <laughs> we, you know, we went from like eating so many mm. in a day, but we're getting down to one. It's being gracious. Again, the graciousness with yourself mm -hmm. and being like, okay, hoy comí cinco, mañana me como cuatro. Slow down. Being, you know, mm -hmm. just gentler with yourself. Yeah. Eventually it'll just fall off. It'll be like, I don't know, today I don't want any. Mm. And it's okay. Yeah. There's no, yeah. no race. I like that. And that's, um, it's funny. It's not funny, but it's, it's interesting. <laughs> no, it's like, I, and that's why I'm so happy that we're having this conversation and that you're, you've graced us with your presence oh, today I and your energy because, <laughs> because I, I feel like, you know, the times that we've been together, like, you know, I come and I'm like, there's this, I'm sure I've been like, Oh, Jackie. And you have this way of like, helping me find my own grace yeah you know yeah and it's been um yeah it's been really but you needed really to nice. be that person because if you weren't in that space at that moment in time mm -hmm. when we met mm -hmm. you wouldn't be feeling this or you wouldn't be acknowledging what you're acknowledging today mm. if you were just like oh. all right Betty. <laughs> but i was like oh yeah i'm very yeah. i'm very grateful that i've been open you know yes. open to receiving mm -hmm. um and that's the key is being yeah. open because when being you're not now. you're a closed box how are you supposed to receive more yeah i unfortunately you know i had like you had a, hit a certain pit <laughs> you mm -hmm. know i think we all do and it's and okay it's, well it's i was gonna say that the, the it's, I've been hearing different perspectives. Uh, I don't have a certain, I don't really know where I land on it yet. I'm still mm -hmm. working through, but you know, I hear what you're saying about like, yeah, I, there is a big part of me that's like, it's inevitable, right? Yeah. Like, because if you're not acknowledging, you're not being retrospective, you're not acknowledging mm -hmm. your emotions, you're not really being truthful with yourself, it's mm -hmm. something's going to give. I do believe that. Yes. But my hope, of course, is that like with these conversations that we can help some people along the way where it doesn't, they can be like, oh, let me think about that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, because... Um, and it's all food for thought. You take what you yes, want. Yes, yes, absolutely. And you take what you don't. Whatever, if whatever speaks to you, yeah. Whatever speaks to you. If it doesn't speak to you, then let it go. Yeah. Let it be. It's yeah, not for you. Yeah. Don't be like, well, I don't agree with that. Yeah. No, it's not about what you agree, what you yes. don't. Just yes. take what you agree with, lo demás, mm -hmm. let it go. Yeah. It's like most things, right? Like. I've come to realize, like, I'm like, you can hear people out and you can assess it and you can just, just determine for yourself if that's something mm -hmm. you want to carry or not. You know, mm -hmm. Okay. Like that's, it's all perspective, right? Yes. Um, but yeah, the openness, you're right. It's like being open um, and, and surrendering. I felt there have been many times where I'm just like, you know, yeah. like, I'm so thankful that I have a wonderful partner and... And honestly, I'm coming to also acknowledge, like, I'm really happy to be who I am, like, which mm -hmm. is, like, it's nice, like, it's to be key. like, yeah, it's like, wait, I'm actually, I like me, like, you know, I know you I'm should. not perfect, but, but I, I like the, like, the, when I was figuring out my values, I was mm -hmm. like, one of them was connection, and I was like, and I, at first I was like, I kind of put it in the back, I was like, oh, I mean, I do like connection, but then I was like, wait, no, this is such an integral part of what makes me, like, want to you know smile and yeah and and do the things i want to do and and meet the people i want to meet is like um and so and it reminds me of like when i was a kid i never talked about this but like when i like would go to the grocery store with my dad and my dad's like you always saying hi to everybody i was like because i would just recognize people that i met like in class and i was just like i just there was such an excitement of yeah. like community and people and and throughout my life, it was more of like, oh, Jackie, hi, Jackie, you know. And mm -hmm. so now I'm like, no, hi, Jackie, yes. Like, yeah. yes. Ike, yeah. Ike. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's a a power in that and, um, and love. To yeah. be like, no, like, even if whatever people are saying, like, this is who yeah. you are. There's surrendering to who you are, but like loving yourself. Yeah. And it's such a, a beautiful thing, like, 
just walking around saying hi to people. Right. We've, as a society, I feel like we've forgotten to do that because mm -hmm. we're so stuck with the phones. Yeah. Everybody's looking for something mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. They're always not present. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. My, my daughter, my husband and I, we do that a lot where we go to the, wherever we go, uh -huh. hi, um, hi, how are you doing? And my daughter was like, mommy, <laughs> Why are you guys? Oh, you she's know asking them? you that? Yes. Oh. She's like, Mommy, do you know them? Who are they? And I'm like, No. She's like, Well, then why are you saying hi? And she granted, she, this was at the age of five. Yeah. And I was just like, It's nice to plant a seed and be generous. Mm -hmm. Just be kind. Be kind, yeah. And they might, that might be the only interaction that person might have. Yeah. And saying hi to somebody might open the door to conversation, mm -hmm. meeting somebody mm -hmm. new. Mm -hmm. You know, eye contact is not enough sometimes. I was going to say, I, I'm going to do a shout out to my friend Carly, um, who I met. I've been meeting people, you know, meeting new people and stuff. And last year we met and uh, we had met online and mm -hmm. then we're like, let's meet in person, whatever. So we have coffee mm -hmm. and we're talking and I'm just telling her my story and we're talking and she's like, the eye contact is like right there, dude. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't know why my intuition was like. Dude, like this person is like present, like, yeah. and that is hard to find. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. And then like something ended up happening a couple months after, and I was like, I don't know who to turn to. And I literally turned to her, and she was like, she helped me out so much with mm. something that happened, and it was very emotional. It was like, so yeah, the eye contact is like, it's very important because if somebody can be that vulnerable and mm -hmm. like, you know, and can look you in the eye, because some people are afraid to look in the eye, and that maybe it has nothing to do with you, yeah. right? But if they can, there's, it also says something about where they're at in their journey yes. to be able to connect and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really cool. So Carly, if you're if you're watching this, like she knows I Not how I feel about when you watch when it. you watch this, Carly, <laughs> you will know about the eye contact. But yeah, the this idea of being present. But but I will say that I have grace for people who aren't because yeah. the truth is is that like we're all running away from something. We're all running away from ourselves, and so some of us. Some of us. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> some of us. <laughs> No, I mean, I, you know, I think that there's, you know, I also acknowledge that, like, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It is. You Life know? is Life hard. Life is hard. Yeah. Life is hard. But it's only hard when you make it. Yes. We make it hard on ourselves a lot, too. My mom, um, love my mommy. She, for the longest time, she would tell me, she's like, oh, like, just make life simple for yourself. And I mm -hmm. was always like, I always felt like it was like dismissive of like my like this complexity of my emotions and my feelings but i i think she was coming from a place that i didn't quite understand just yet until and you'll get there now then. i'm there mm -hmm. i get it now and it's we were talking the other day and she's like looked at me and she's like jackie you're drowning in a cup in a glass of water yeah. and i was like i know and i knew i knew that that's why i was like i just need to like acknowledge how i'm feeling and she's like you're doing that and i'm like yeah you're right and um it's like you got just got to take it back to basics, you know. Yes. Like and and um, I don't know where I'm going with this. So that that, that happens too. We're off on tangent. And I'm like, <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't even know what we're talking about. But yeah, my mom. Uh, yeah, and we do. We like so we were talking about how we complicate our things, complicate mm -hmm. our life. Mm -hmm. We keep adding things, mm -hmm. right? Because we're searching for things. Again, okay. this is the running away. Mm -hmm. Instead of having to deal with our current problems or mm -hmm. current situation, mm -hmm. we just keep on adding and adding and adding. And, we're, and when do we subtract? Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. When it's too and, late? <laughs> and that's the thing is that... <laughs> when you're already in deficit or whatever. Yep, yep, when you're in that <laughs> deep hole. Yeah. And the thing is that we nobody really likes to go into that hole. It's very yeah. scary. It's very... Yeah. It's dark, it's unknown, it's different. We all love the new and beautiful and clean. <laughs> and when it's time to fix it, it's like, no, just buy yourself a new one. Yeah. We're very much in that yeah. state of mind nowadays. Yeah. Where it's like, no, pues compraste uno nuevo. Yeah. Instead but of fixing it. What comes to mind to me, because I, you know, I'm always thinking about you all. I am thinking about you all. Okay, is that like, I really feel like there's such power. We have such power in ourselves until we are able to unlock it and all that stuff. But I feel like, people like people in your life like even if it's one person in your life that you cultivated some sort of friendship with like they like you can lean on people like yes. I really do think people underestimate that like I wouldn't be here today if uh, yes Anna has been a big role in my life but there has been a lot of other people in my yeah. life friends that are been known for a short time a long time that people have like 
like if you you put your hand out like somebody will be like oh my god i got yeah. you you know and 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 then hopefully one day you will be able to do that for someone else but it's like i do believe in that yeah. uh i believe in that so if you are feeling like you're in a space of just like i need to get out of here like like you can't handle it on yeah. your own you weren't made to be a jack of all trades mm -hmm. you can't mm -hmm. like impossible it's impossible it's too only much. a jackie of all trades ah just ah, kidding ah, no. <laughs> no 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 definitely not um <laughs> there's a reason why there's so much so many hu uh, humans on in this world mm -hmm. so everybody can be able to help you with something they're all here yeah. you don't have to reach out to family per se sometimes it's nice to just talk to a complete stranger yeah because talking to a stranger is like okay Oof. well I'll never see them again. So right. Importa. Yeah. Well, let it all out. Yeah. You know, um, and there's no judgment. Mm -hmm. Or if there was, then but yeah. they're they're gone. Yeah. Get Unless started. you're on TikTok and they, you come no, across their video. That's why you don't put it on TikTok. <laughs> <that's> probably. <laughs> <laughs> but they might ah, uh, I'm just yes, no but i get what you're saying like yeah like you like i also think like people think that oh just because of the family that you're born into or you have in your life mm -hmm. like that that has to be the only resource like no, no. not at all like there's so much other there's family. more i mean family is great but there's yeah. like there's you only they only bring one perspective and so it's good to have meet other kinds yeah. of people that can give you some other perspective like mm -hmm. when i was in my 20s and i you know i didn't necessarily have the support of my family of me being gay like i had my my chosen yeah. family I had friends and even colleagues who were more uplifting and celeb affirming of my identity than my own family you know mm -hmm. so um which I think I have to say, like, there are times where, again, intuition is like, I was fighting it. I was like, yeah. I was like, no, but it has again. to be this. It has to be that. Holding on to yeah, that it has path. to be this. And then yeah. I was like, wait. They serve a the purpose. Everybody serves a purpose. And if they fall off, let it be. Yeah. They serve their purpose at yeah. that moment in time. And now that chapter has ended. Yeah. You want to revisit that chapter and get stuck on the chapter, then so be it. Right. But right. you're the only one making it hard on yourself. Yes. You'll never get to the end of it. There we go. That's what we were talking about, about how we make it hard for ourselves. <laughs> yes. We are our worst critics and, and yeah. we are... Pero por qué? Pero por qué? And that's, I want to keep diving into this because we still have a few more minutes okay. here. So. ¿Por qué estamos así? Like, why are we so damn, like... Somos tercos. Tercos, yeah. It's Tell us ego. about the ego. Yeah, talk to us about the ego. Ego is just wanting... It's no bueno. <laughs> we all know that. It's, it's no the bueno. It's competition. Yeah. It's the... have to outbeat myself. I have to outbeat this other person. I have to do this, that. It's like, no, it's just... Just be... Yeah. We forget to just be. Yeah. Just like in nature, a tree is just a tree. It mm -hmm. doesn't force itself to be a bush. Mm -hmm. It doesn't force itself to be a flower. Mm -hmm. It's a tree. Mm -hmm. It does what it needs to do. Yeah. We, we just need to be human, mm -hmm. living in a human experience. Mm -hmm. What does that human experience look like? It's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's what you want to make of it. You're the only one adding to your pile, to your backpack. Ooh. I like to say that. Your backpack. Okay, like what are you that. carrying? Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. You want to carry all that childhood trauma? Carry it. Carry it. Until you no longer feel like you need to carry it no more. Mm -hmm. it, got, it, it did what it had to do, and it gets you to where you need to be. Mm -hmm. And it makes you, and, it be, and you become the person you need to be. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. I think a lot about, like, uh, I know it sounds... <laughs> This sounds like silly, but I feel like I need like sometimes I think visually about stuff, but I always think about like the analogy of like people who are hoarders, mm -hmm. right? Hoarders, people who keep a lot of things yeah. in their home. And um, honestly, it wasn't until like met Anna that I started to simplify my life a little yeah, and started to let go of things and, and, and understand the value of things and mm -hmm. how Anna always tells me, she's like, we put the value on things. Yes. Like we have the power of that. Yeah. And I'm just like, what? what do you? I'm like, wait, what do you mean? And it's taken me some time to really yeah. believe that, but it's true. It's like, I don't feel as, like you said, clutch to things because it's like they serve their purpose. And mm -hmm. and even, and I do want to talk about death. I think it's a natural part of the yeah. human experience. It's just like birth. Yeah. I think about, I talk a lot about my grandmother and how close I, I was, I am with her. And oh, um, funny, and I was just saying about grandma. I know too. you were talking about grandma. <laughs> Las abuelitas. But it's like she, I felt so bonded with her and even that every time that I was with her, I tried to be as present with her and mm -hmm. make sure she knew that I loved her and that I, you know, got to know her and all this stuff that even now as she's passed, I feel her, um, 
very present with me. Yeah. And I think that that's, you know, no photograph and no whatever. It's like, it's something you can, I cannot describe. I just mm -hmm. know it's in my being and my set. And like, she visits me a lot when I dream. Mm -hmm. Like a few days before my mar I got married, I, I felt her vibes, mm -hmm. you know, I felt them. Um, I felt her presence um, the other day I she I had a dream about her and because I've been going through stuff and I remember in the dream she like she held my she grabbed my hand she held mm. my hand I was like it's a very specific thing to do right in yeah. a dream and so I talked this back to like what is it that you're carrying in your backpack or what is it that you want to uh, what's 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 a value to you and how do you want to make sure that it's it's worth keeping. It's worth keeping, and that it's it, that it's in your it's in your being. Like when mm -hmm. if something were to ever happen, you know, an earthquake, and you walk away and you walk around, and you're like, what do I? What am I carrying? Like you said, yeah. like, but what is it about me that I care about? Like that's what I'm realizing is like is is important. Um, I don't know what you think of that, but what are your thoughts? <laughs> Again, like you said, we. Or Anna said, right? Anna said it. Yeah, Anna said it. it. It's how much value we put into the things. Um, at the end of it all, we don't get to take any of it. Mm. We leave it behind, and it's somebody else's burden now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, with, for example, myself having children, mm -hmm. I need to teach them that a cup is a cup. Yes, it might have an emotional value because my husband gave it to me for our 15th anniversary or something. Mm -hmm. But it's just the cup. Mm -hmm. And it served its purpose at the moment in time and it was a thoughtful gift. Mm -hmm. But if it breaks, it breaks. Ya ni modo. Off to the next, mm -hmm. next thing. Mm -hmm. What are you going to carry with you? Mm -hmm. What's really important, right? Mm -hmm. N nothing's really important besides our life. Mm -hmm. And if our m mentality is cluttered, mm -hmm. right? Because that's the backpack. The backpack is not on our back. It's in our mind. What is cluttered in there? What is cluttered in there? What clutter do you want to keep? Oh. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Nothing. <Yeah. laughs> well, um, uh, to quote another coffee chat guest that I have not published yet because it's come, it's brewing. It's coming. It's coming soon. Uh, with Jess, we talked about being uncomfortable and she speaks to this idea of how we all, with our feelings, you're talking about suppressing them. Like, mm -hmm. she's like, we put them in the, under the bed and we put them in the drawer and then all of a sudden there's nowhere to put them and now you're like, shit, now I gotta, now it's I gotta all coming out and now I gotta deal with it. And I think, uh, what's that saying? I'm not trying to be religious with the saying, but like that saying of like, Dios no se queda con nada. Like, um, have you heard of that? Dios no se queda con nada mm -hmm. or nosotros no, no los quedamos con nada. No, que Dios no se queda con nada. Like, and my mom tells me this, and, it, it, mm -hmm. and, and I, I don't. Heard that one. Yeah, it's not. I would say um, I bring it up not because of like if you believe in God or not, but this idea of like maybe just like the universe, maybe mm -hmm. um, is that like things are happening right for you, not to you, and mm -hmm. so whatever comes your way, it's like it's it's for you, and so you got to figure out how do you and what to do with it, do what to do with it to to enrich your life, to teach you things. And, and Anna's like, even if it's there not to teach you anything, like just, it's okay, yeah. like keep it moving. And, like, and the thing is it might not teach you at that moment in time. It might come down yeah. later in life and you'd be like, oh, por eso. Like your mom, she taught you, she t told you all the time, yeah. right? <laughs> Why are you complicating your life? And then it's like, oh, okay, back then it didn't make no sense. Like, mom, all I needed you to do was hear me. Yes. And she was hearing you. Yes. But she can only give you such a wise was like, such wise words yeah but they did not fit in your mentality at, at that moment in time yeah. until now and mm -hmm. now you have time to reflect back and you're like i mi madre santa <laughs> of course she knew what to say <laughs> of course and yes why why am i not why am i making things so complicated yeah why don't i just go outside and enjoy the flowers why mm -hmm. are we always in the what's next what's, what's next? next what's next yeah and until we get out of all of that, we can, we can go in within ourselves and be able to sit within ourselves. There we go. There we go. be able to hear our intuition yeah. and hear what it is that we truly need mm -hmm. in our life. But we have to declutter yeah. our life first yeah. because intuition won't fit 
in a cup that's full, it's going to keep pouring yeah. and pouring and pouring, yeah. and then there will be overflow. Yeah. And where is the out? And it is beautiful. It is a beautiful thing to. I mean, I'm a big fan of decluttering, so. Yes. It's I think fun. It's, it's healthy. Um, and it's something that you, I mean, I think just like in the physical world, you have to do it every so often. I'm currently doing it now. Oh, I have yes. to declutter a lot, especially part of this. Do you want to share or no? Uh, okay. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, it's the same thing with the mind and, um, but it is a, I do want to just state again, like it is a beautiful thing to be able to be intuitive, to hear what you're feeling and be an advocate of yourself, you know? Yes. There is beauty in that. Mm -hmm. um, when you get to that space. When you get to that space. And I understand the fear because it's hard to do that because you feel like it's selfish and all this stuff. But it's like. It's not. It's not. Nobody it's not. It will take care of you better than you will take care of yourself. Exactly. Because only you know what it yeah. is that you need at that moment in time. Yeah. So if you're wanting flowers, why are you waiting for your husband or your partner yeah. to get you flowers? Yeah. If you, want donuts, <laughs> if you want donuts, don't wait for me to get you the donuts. Yeah. Go get the donuts. You gonna wait for that coffee chat? No. <laughs> Quien sabe cuando llega. Just go get you your donuts. Just okay? get your donuts. Yeah, yes. yeah. And oh, it's, it's not cheat day. Who cares about cheat day? Oh, Jesus. It's, yeah. Enjoy that moment in time. Yeah. Enjoy whatever it is that you have in that present moment. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Being present. Yeah. I mean, I've enjoyed this hour with you Aww. being present and yes so happy that you're sharing all this stuff with our folks out yes. there um <sighs> so good so good right yes did you have a good time oh gosh yes i did <laughs> i was like uh <laughs> she's pausing just a moment <laughs> later um any 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 parting uh, <laughs> any parting words for the viewers out there when it comes to um their intuition mm. anything coming from your from the source Just here be gentle with yourself um yeah embrace yourself love yourself be kind to yourself please be forgiving of things past or future or present just breathe just like your breath of air you breathe in you breathe out same with life mm. just go with the flow don't put resistance Love you. And have a donut, you know? Yes, have a donut. donut, coffee, tea. <laughs> more water. I love that. I love, yeah, more water. I should probably drink some water. Well, uh, wow. You, I, there's nothing yeah. for me to say. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers.